The homes which flooded from Debbie and Manatee and Sarasota counties were in neighborhoods that are not in a flood zone. ABC Action News spoke to one man who said weeks before Debbie hit, he dropped his flood insurance because his home was taken out of a FEMA flood zone. But over the weekend, President Biden did approve federal funding for FEMA to step in and help people impacted by this storm. ABC Action News anchor Heather Lee is in Sarasota this morning in the Bellevue Terrace neighborhood near Philippi Creek. Good morning to you, Heather. A lot of these neighbors desperately wondering when that help is going to come. Yeah, good morning to you, Dia and James. So this is what is left of the Bellevue Terrace neighborhood. This is what it looks like one week later. Just absolute tragedy out here. Really, this is what it looks like when someone's entire life is put outside at the curb ready for trash pickup. It's really just so tragic. FEMA, though, is in town officially and is ready to help. It's devastating losing it all, but Cy Swear now sees his home as a new beginning after Hurricane Debbie destroyed it. So the water was about 38 inches. But the second blow came before the storm even hit. Cy dropped his flood insurance months ago after FEMA's new maps left his home out of a flood zone. It was a gamble I just because of how high the insurance and flood insurance had brought my monthly mortgage payment something, you know, I had to give up something. He's now hoping FEMA comes through for him. I did call and to try to submit a claim and they said that at the time it had not been declared an emergency. So um, I guess just last night or yesterday it finally was. It was good news. I just don't know what to expect from it. FEMA is on the ground going door to door. Nate Custer, a spokesperson for FEMA, says it's important for homeowners to start taking pictures of the damage and their belongings now and save receipts. He says those impacted will get a call from a FEMA inspector to make an appointment to look at their property and to see what happened. He says homeowners and renters can apply but have to within the next 60 days. We also asked why do people get denied? Vacation or secondary home. Uh, it, we only uh, deal with primary homes. And if, if there was inaccurate information, if two different individuals tried to get uh, a grant for the same home, that is not going to work either. Sarasota has also opened up a multi-agency resource center where you can go to get in touch with several different agencies. Now, as for FEMA, if you live in Sarasota and Manatee counties, you can now apply. You just go to disasterassistance.gov or you can call 1-800-621-3362 daily from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. Or you can go to their app. FEMA says you'll need a current phone number, your address at the time of the disaster and where you are currently staying. Plus, you will need to provide a list of damage and loss. FEMA requires your banking info if you select direct deposit. Now, all of this information, again, is posted on our website, abcactionnews.com. For now, we're live in Sarasota. Heather Lee, ABC Action.